Ir gravaco cakes de silico now marcado. Interromper transmiseo. Grupo O B Progeter Progeter M T L Sams Progeter M T L Shia Previa Jane La Trazendo esse evento aqui para vocês, a franquia. Estou aqui trazendo hoje esse evento. Porque tivemos um polêmico até aqui. Se eu vou gravar dois eventos, eu gravei ontem. É uma parte 3 com elementos. Eu gravei e a parte 3 saiu domingo. Na madrugada, gravei a parte 1, um, um bugzinho, mas eu um bug mesmo, não sei foda. Na verdade, saiu ontem, e hoje essa aqui, estou gravando na manhã de quinta-feira. Estou gravando essa aqui. Por que eu estou fazendo assim? É o tempo do elemento de estar abaixo de 18. Abaixo de 18 do jogo para não fazer reverso. Já é 19. 18, 19. Tendremos aqui no canal. Eu vou fazer isso aqui para poder testar o áudio, mas... Não vai ser fácil de testar esse áudio. Gravo direto e eu
pelo menos um minuto. E bora lá então, perceber. Na segunda-feira sai a demo da Bonduda, da Ivy. Terça-feira sai o episódio 18. Quarta, 19. Quinta, 20. Sexta, 21. Sábado, 22. Domingo, 23. Hello and welcome back to Frontier Unlocked. This is show number two, Holly. They've Can't let me... us come back. Apparently, we did all right last time and people yeah. like the format, so we're Here back we again. Here we are again. Um, so thank you very much, everyone in chat, for joining us. I'm Arthur, one of the community team, and I'm joined by the wonderful Holly. Hello. I look after influencers and miscellaneous other uh, things here at Frontier. Holly's awesome. Um, so Holly's here to make sure that I don't make too many mistakes, of which I will probably make a lot. Oh, no, I'm not. No, no, you didn't. You didn't tell me that. <laughs> uh -huh. That's not what you're looking after. My mistakes. All right. Well, welcome, 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 welcome. So if you're new to Frontier Unlocked, basically the format of the show, it's a magazine show. We yeah. talk about all the news from Frontier Towers. I'm coining that phrase. A tower? It's only three stories. Well, look, hey, let me have my <laughs> dream. So... We'll be talking about all the news and updates for some of your favourite games, and we've got a bumper edition uh, this show. However, before we do that, we do have some housekeeping things to go yes, through. Yes. Um, so um, we've got... Oh, actually, no, I've got this wrong already. It's... Look, producer Adam's given me a whole list, and I've gone straight the way off piste. But... Yeah, no, we, <laughs> we've said this before. Adam's literally... We've got a list right here, and we've already decided to not follow it. Yeah, so... But he'll be upset because Adam's actually made us a brand new asset for what's coming up yeah, on the has. show. So... Let's look at this brand new asset from our producer, Adam. Here we go. Let's roll it in. So coming up on today's show, we have all the news for our Warhammer fans. And I did uh, see someone in chat just now saying, please, Realms of Ruin. Well, you will we'll have happy. news for you today. Uh, and we also have some news about the wonderful Chaos Gate that launched earlier uh, yes. this month. Uh, then we have some incredible developers on uh, to showcase some of the news from Planet Zoo console. And... Uh. And then at the end, yes. the prodigal son returns <laughs> and Zach will be on to talk about Elite Dangerous, some of the news that's happening there. So there we go. You've had the Elite, Elite continues to eat well. I've seen the rehearsal. Yes, there was a rehearsal. We actually, believe it or not, ignore my performance. We <laughs> actually do We actually do rehearse this show. Um, all right, so before we do that, there is some general housekeeping. Holly, let's talk about some of the Twitch drops and stuff. Yep, we have Twitch drops are active right now. Um, you will be able to get two uh, ship skins. We've got the, uh, right, the Stinger Green this time, not the Ice Sheet. Stinger Green. So these two drops are available now. Um, you have to watch this show for a certain length of time. It should be very doable. I'd tell you, but I'd love it if you just stay a bit longer. Uh, but these are available for uh, anyone watching. So there's a bit of a... <laughs> so we were discussing this <laughs> yeah. during the rehearsal. Yeah, now... Adam is very fond of these skins. I am not a fan. It's but like... Personal choice, right? Chat, how are you feeling? Are you, <laughs> you liking these colours or not? Someone I mean... says, ooh, stingy. Stingy? Like, ooh, stingy. Um, oh, much sting. <laughs> well, oh, much sting. Bit spicy. So, nah, I'm no fan, like says that. Orange nah. Spark. Um, <laughs> I think it's a, it's a Marmite. It's going to be a Marmite. But it's I like free. the fact it's free and it's different from last month's. It is, uh, it is drop, Which is always really exciting. So you earn that just by watching yeah. this show. By pulling up with us too. <laughs> yes, stick, yeah, stick around. A and, reward. But there's more. Yes. Holly, there's a, we, every show we do a competition, and Holly has produced the goods yet again. Do you want to show what you can win on today's show? Yes. Okay. So we'll be doing a competition. Uh, we won't tell you when it starts, but when it, do, when it does, we will even give you the competition mechanic. Uh, you will win a bundle of goodies, which we will ship directly to you. First, we have a little Planet Zoo goodie bag. Mm -hmm. Got a few bits in here, the infamous Planet Zoo lunchbox, the water bottle, and a few other goodies. 
We've got the Planet Zoo vinyl. Uh, we made this to celebrate the third anniversary. Uh, and it's a beautiful album that has about 12 different songs from across the DLCs on it. It is transparent, base game green. And you've got my baby picture. Yeah, well, this is when you had hair. Yeah, I did have it. <laughs> there you are, chat. There's a picture of me with hair. I, I do have it. So there we go. There we go. Lovely. Then we've got uh, quite a few things, like kits that we have made uh, that were, you know, never available. So obviously to celebrate the launch of Warhammer 40k Chaos Gate Demon Hunters, we have made uh, some keycaps originally. Um, it's a, dub a, set, cool. a set of the WASD and an escape key. This is quite hard to show on camera, but it's the little green helmet. There's a, there's a helmet. helmet on there. Yeah, very, yeah. very cool. You can, win, uh, you can win this. By the way, if you do win this, and you're really struggling to open it. <laughs> it's magnetic. It's not you. Uh, and yeah. I actually had people messaging me being like, you've sent me something and I don't know how to open it. Uh, it's magnetic. The one I saw was me. A chat. I generally thought we'd built a puzzle box. I couldn't get into it. I was like, what? how do you open it? I thought it was a paperweight. But it's cool. It's it really cool. Not. But so is this. Um, we've also got Elite Dangerous Beanie and a selection of um, pin badges as well. We made these for the launch of F1 Manager 23. This is a stream deck. Stream deck. Uh, featuring the design from the key art. And I do believe, if I get this right, on this little USB stick, we actually had some of the Sky Sports F1 commentators do um, some voice bits for it. Bit like, so when you press the buttons. Yeah, um, it was quite interesting trying to explain to them what a raid was for Twitch. Uh, <laughs> one of them even said, well, raiding's not a good thing. And I was like, no, no, it is on Twitch. Is that explaining what TikTok is to me? Yeah, yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. Okay, yeah. It was a lot yeah, of yeah. that. Um, and we, we did have, we have some nice little bits in yeah. there for you. But finally, I think probably the big one for today. Yeah, it's cool. So this is the uh, brand new, due to be released very soon, um, I believe early March, Xbox Design Labs controller exclusively for Planet Zoo console edition. You will be able to win your own one that is already sealed in this box, so it's not the one that me and Arthur have been passing around the room. Um, it's absolutely incredible. It's the Elite Series 2 controller uh, featuring the green and I love the metal. That, the the, green, the, green the back, back is lovely, yes. Chef's kiss. So you will be able to win one of these as part of today's prize All bundle. All of this All of this. swag. All of this swag. Uh, so, and we will tell you the mechanic on how to enter very soon. So you have to be paying attention. So if you're listening without sound on because we're annoying you, I'm sorry. Yeah, unlucky. I mean, they'll probably be able to guess, I reckon. Oh, they'll probably, yeah, you'll, you'll probably be able to guess. Chat. You'll be able um, to tell. However, uh, that's, a, that's, a, that's a huge haul. So thank you very much, Holly, for providing that for yes. all of our fans. So good luck for those who enter later on. As Holly said, we will let you know how to win all that yes. wonderful stuff a bit later. Right, I guess we should move on to the first part yeah. uh, of the show. So we're going to talk about all things Warhammer. So to lead us in, we have a lovely launch trailer for Chaos Gate Demon Hunters, uh, which launched earlier this month. Let's have a look. Commander, the bloom is not to be taken lightly. With every passing day, the corruption grows stronger. I have foreseen dire omens for this sector. Send your squad to the surface. Commander, prepare to engage. Five great demonic entities tore into existence here. And now, they lie in wait. The Grey Knights must purge this darkness. You are our burning blade in the dark. So there we go. That is the wonderful Chaos Gate Demon Hunters. Available now on console on yes. Xbox One, PS4, PS5, and Xbox Series S and X. Well and you done. Can, yeah, I remember it all. And you can actually uh, order the Purifier Edition, which comes with the wonderful Castellan Garen Crow and the Black Blade of Antwerp Demonic Sword, who I am convinced they named it after something out of Monty Python, but it's not. It's actually a demonic sword. It's very powerful. He's a very cool character to have. Someone just said in chat, much hammer, very war. 
there is a lot of war hammering going on in that game. Um, and also, someone said, this looks pretty good. It is a really but, good game. All fairness aside, it's really good. I love turn-based strategy games. People will know what yeah. games that I, that I love if you follow me on my socials. This is a really, really cool game. It's really, really fun. If you're into 40K, it's a bonus. Outside of that, it's a really good turn-based strategy game. Which actually probably leads a really nice segue into actually showing a, just a little snippet. Yes, we went to Warhammer World um, and the wonderful community team went up there. So Paul and Phil, shout out to those yeah. guys. Uh, they were on hand to showcase the game to the patrons of Warhammer World. So they're getting yes. their, their, their Warhammering on at uh, Warhammer World. Uh, and then I, and I must say I and Paul, Paul and I, uh, Paul and I were then on the stream with the yes, wonderful team uh, at Warhammer TV. And we had a, a playthrough of a mission. And this mission, which we're going to show you a tiny snippet of, is Paul versus a Reaper. And a Reaper <laughs> is basically one of these five bosses you can face. So you can face sort of several of them. Uh, Paul always gives me the stress. Yeah, he, he, like, he likes to stress. play it very close. Legitimately, I was convinced Paul would fail this after about four minutes into the mission chat. And we were on stream for about 40 minutes doing this mission. And for 40 minutes, mm. I was visibly sweating because I was like, Paul's, Paul's failed. Paul's absolutely failed. He had, but, one, like he had one job and he's one coming job, in Paul. four minutes. But uh, this is the last, fin the finality. So spoilers, yeah. if you want to, you can check out the whole uh, VOD. VOD? VOD. <laughs> check out, <laughs> you can check out video the VOD on, uh, on Warhammer's channel. Um, but if you want to see the last two minutes, spoilers, it tells you what happens. Let's have a look now. The Grey Knights are reforming. Um, this looks like a final stand against uh, one of the Reapers. Oh, oh, can I get it? Let's have a look. Oh, you're going to shoot a brazer on him as well. I'm going to set him on fire. <laughs> now he's burning. He's up. I mean, the stench must be awful yeah. already. I mean, it's bad enough. But luckily, they've got their uh, their armor and it's completely sealed. Oh, here we go. Yeah, yes, that, uh... he's on 10. What's that reduced him to? He's on five. <laughs> this is it, chat. You should have put more W's in. <laughs> What's the oh, I've got to reload. He's got to reload. Oh, oh, no. oh no. Oh, no. Oh. I wasn't intending for it to be this stressful. I mean, I don't think... I need a new pair of pants. I'm not going to lie. <laughs> I think it's all... I thought, it was, I thought you'd lost four times over, Paul. But I, I think you, I, there's no way you lose this now. I, I, I no, don't think you lose it. Here we go. You He's still my friends? It. That's all right, Paul. <laughs> I just want to go away. Who do you want to do the uh, the killing blow, Paul? I think librarians earn it. To be yeah. fair, if he can do it, I think librarians earn the, the killing blow. Let's see if he doesn't get murdered by the the Plague blade bearer. bearer. <laughs> Part of me wants him to do the purifier. Oh, but... mate, it's been your playthrough. Like I don't want to. Purifier is far too to, far away. I don't want to side seat. Um, Thing in this, but if you're a librarian who's look at him, he's been absolutely pummeled throughout the entire the entire he game. He is. And here we go. He's going to give him the good news. Here we go. Nice <laughs> work. And again, as you mentioned before, doesn't die. He's no. stuck back into the warp, right? That's it. And he'll uh, he'll come back. Uh, can I just say, Paul? Well done. Yes. And he's brought then. Well done. I, because. Yeah, that went a lot better than I thought it was going to uh, go. This is the sweatiest I've ever seen Paul, by the way. He is <laughs> absolutely sweating his way through that one. So there we go. Um, spoilers, Paul was victorious, but you could see the... I think Paul was getting more enjoyment about stressing me out than he oh, was yeah. actually playing, but That's there we go. That's 100% how Paul gets his kicks. Yeah, so anyways, that was, a, that was a, uh, a, uh, one of the chosen ones from Nurgle. Uh, it was a greater demon. So yes, chat. There was a mouth on his stomach, a mouth on his elbows, his mouth on his mouth, on his tongue. Mouth on like mouth on mouth. It's disgusting. Um, but Paul's victorious. It's a great game. Check it out. Um, but that's not all. If you do want to win a PS5, yes, not just any old PS5. There's a there is a competition running on the Warhammer social channels or the Warhammer Chaos Gate social channels rather. You can win this lovely PS5 wrapped in our wonderful key art with the, the custom controller as well. So go yeah, along and have a, have a check. Really it's a real simple competition. Yeah. Loads of ways to win no, um, really uh, awesome. entries, and it's still running, so you've still got a chance to get in there and, and, and win yourself a PS5. Yes. So have a look-see. Uh, yeah, and good luck if you're going to enter. Um, all right, so that's me talking about all the shooty guns, shooty big guns. hammers. Now let's go to the bows and arrows, bows and, and arrows swords. And swords. Um, so 
Realms of Ruin, obviously, that we, you were asking us about, is there going to be an update for Realms of Ruin? Well, yes. I could tell you, but it'd be a waste of me telling you, why to get the wonderful Sandro Samarco to see what's coming for Realms of Ruin? Hello, my name's Sandy Samarco, and I'm lead designer on Realms of Ruin. And I'm really pleased to announce that coming later this year are two new heroes to Realms of Ruin. The first hero that's coming is Kurdos Valentian, and he's standing in for the Nighthorn. Um, Kurdos Valentian in life was a, a, a very great and ruthless leader and in his desire for power he committed very uh, wicked deeds on a grand scale. And so in death he was granted uh, command but unfortunately um, due to Nagash's twisted uh, sense of justice his ability to issue commands was denied. He can't actually speak um, and so he was forever committed to being more of a strong man for the Nighthorn army than an actual commander. His presence is always announced by two heralds that flit above him, uh, proclaiming his misdeeds um, and taunting him, which is really cool. And in the game, uh, he's very much uh, a brawler. Um, he doesn't have too much mobility, but he can really pack a punch. And he's got a rather nasty ability to meddle with uh, your opponent's command and resources, as well as disrupt local uh, enemies by silencing their abilities. The second of the two heroes that are coming uh, is the Gaunt Summoner for Zinch. Uh, Gaunt Summoners are incredibly powerful, strange, weird magisters, wizards of the Chaos God Zinch. They're custodians of the Silver Towers, these large edifices that uh, flit through time and space. Um, and there's only ever nine of them at any one time, so it's a very prestigious and rather terrifying title. So in the game, uh, the Gaunt Summoner is very much about range damage and range combat. Being a, a wizard, a magister, you don't really want to get them in close combat, but if you can keep them safe, they can output a devastating amount of, amount of damage. And as you might expect with the title of the Gaunt Summoner, uh, their kind of party pieces, they can summon lots of forces of Zinch to the battlefield, which can really just turn the tables um, if you can time it right. Alongside these two new heroes, I'm really happy to announce that there'll be a free update for all Realms of Ruin players. Uh, and this will contain a slew of balancing changes, uh, quality of life improvements and new maps. The first is Epicenter, a 2v2 map based in the Sulphur biome. Then we've got the Rotting Moor, based in the Swamp biome. Eternal Siege, uh, a 1v1 map in the Tundra biome. And Creeping Drought, a 1v1 map based in the Sulphur Biome. One of the major improvements we're adding, uh, in direct response to player feedback, is the ability for your units to automatically retaliate against units that threaten or engage them. The way this will work is there will be two stances for units. Hold, which will make the unit act like they currently do in the game, and engage, which will be the new default uh, stance. And when a unit is set to engage, if they're shot at, they will run along and try and engage the people that are shooting at them. And also, there is a, a, a new engagement radius where an enemy just getting too close to them will make them want to go and bash them on the head with whatever weapon they're holding. So uh, it's, a, it's a really cool uh, improvement so you don't have to be everywhere at once. You can set orders for units and know that they're going to act with uh, the correct level of autonomy. And in case you were wondering, don't worry, you can't kite units using this method. Although uh, this automation allows them to retaliate, they were, they're effectively leashed to where they were set to move to, so they'll go back to guarding their original spot. We've also made a bunch of balancing changes to improve the game as well. Uh, some of these are faction based, so for example, we've made the Oryx a little bit more sustainable in the early game to make sure that they survive into the late game where they do get very powerful. Um, and likewise, the Night Haunts, we've redressed their balance a little bit so they fit more in line with the other three factions um, so, that, uh, so that they're not too overly powerful in the early game, swamping the enemy. Um, we've also 
made uh, a lot of changes to reduce Realmstone costs for most of the late game abilities that units have. These abilities are really fun, um, that they can create lots of interesting opportunities and we wanted to make sure that when you're in the late game you get a chance to use them and have fun with them. There will also be a number of quality of life improvements, for example, we've improved squad responsiveness so units should respond a lot more quickly and snappily to orders that you give them and uh, the command post will now be able to heal your units that are near it even when it's being upgraded. So that's an insight into all of the good stuff that's coming up in the Realms of Ruin update. It's been a real pleasure for me to give you a sneak peek. Um, for more details and information, keep your eyes peeled to our socials. There we go. So that was the wonderful, wonderful Sandy talking us through the update that's coming later on. And more news. Keep an eye on our socials for when that's going to be dropping. Uh, two new heroes coming to the game, plus a free update to all players containing four new multiplayer maps and some notable tweaks and changes to uh, the balancing and also that wonderful change to the, the stance system that has been much requested by the community. So thank you so much, Sandy, for spending time. Love spending time with Sandy. He is always close in my heart. Um, so there we go. That was. I think we've covered all of the... The Warhammers. Warhammer. Yeah. Um, we've covered the space stuff and the, and the and the not space stuff. So and maybe yeah, now we go to something a little fluffier. bit more friendly. Yeah. A little bit more friendly. Fluffier, friendly. Let's go on to the happy feelings that is Planet Zoo Console Edition. Now we've already mentioned that the Xbox Design Labs controller will be launching very very soon. In fact, in the next few days but it is part of the competition bundle that we're giving away Segway. today. I know some of you have been waiting to see how you join this, so chat, be prepared, it'll get messy very quickly. But to join the competition today, it is exclamation mark panda. That is how you enter the competition, and a winner will be picked at the end of this episode, so please stick around to see if you are the winner. Right, I think before we get our special guests on and see some gameplay, let's take a look at the brand new trailer that we've just released. go the competition is open at the moment it is exclamation mark panda if you want to enter but it is twitch only sorry everybody on youtube one day we'll figure out how we can make that work but right now it's twitch only we will close the competition soon 
So get your entries in. If you do have any questions, we'll try and keep our eyes on the chat. And actually, chat is uh, non-entry, so we can actually see your comments. You're not getting lost. Don't worry. So Planet Zoo console is coming digitally on March 26th to PlayStation 5 and Xbox Series S and X. Right now, we've got the standard, deluxe, and ultimate editions available for pre-order, and we'll have more details on what those include and the DLC plans for the console edition to talk about at the end of our little Planet Zoo section. Now, it's not just me that's going to be showing the game today. I'm joined by some very talented people. I get to talk about the game, uh, the game that they get to make. So let's introduce today's special guest. <laughs> Welcome to the fancy new studio. I know you're not new to a Planet Zoo <laughs> stream, but, but it is a fancy new studio. It is a very oh, fancy, fancy new studio. Uh, Adam's very excited because he's finally got the rug. Mm -hmm. Beautiful. He was, he was very upset that there were comments on the last stream being like, you really need to get a rug. <laughs> and it was like stuck in the Out post. The it was on it. order and it was stuck in the post. So everybody, producer Adam's very proud of his rug. <laughs> um, but please introduce yourselves in case we do have um, some new Planet Zoo uh, people watching. Yeah, yeah, sure. So my name is Lisa Bowens. I'm a principal pipeline artist here at Frontier. And I'm just really excited to be back to talking about Planet Zoo. You might have seen me before, but if you haven't, I'm so excited. <laughs> Uh, yeah, and I'm uh, James Lockett. I'm the engineering lead and running the code team currently on uh, Planet Coaster Console Edition. And yeah, um, it's, been it's been a really fun time, actually. So. Well, shall we have a look at some gameplay then? Because on the last episode of Frontier Unlocked, we got to talk a little bit about Planets in Console, but we did promise that we would show it. So uh, we've got a nice bit of gameplay to, uh, to hand here that we're going to sort of talk a little bit over the top of. This is one of the very early scenarios in the game. Um, and you play, we play Plan? Ah, producer Adam's on it. Um, so yep. this is currently running on Xbox Series X. So for those people at home wondering if the buttons didn't give it away, yeah, it's definitely on PlayStation. This is Xbox Series <laughs> X. Um, now, if you're a Planet Zoo fan, you have you will have played this level yourself. You've played this scenario. Um, but we're going to assume that maybe we've got people watching that aren't. Mm -hmm. existing Planet Zoo fans. Mm -hmm. So what we're going to do today is while um, while those who are already fans are having a look at how things run on console, and this is a work in progress build, this is not the final gameplay, uh, and the team are squashing bugs and getting things ready for launch like troopers. <laughs> mm -hmm. um, but why don't we talk a little bit about what Planet Zoo is and how it works for maybe some of the new people. Yeah, yes, yeah. yeah, so if, if you're not familiar with Planet Zoo, it's really all about giving you all the tools that you need to be able to create your dream zoo, whatever that looks like. <laughs> so we like to say limitless creativity and also a real authenticity of the animals. All the animals look absolutely gorgeous. I might be a bit biased, but that's okay. <laughs> 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 and of course, now that it's on console, you'll be able to do that from the comfort of your couch, if, so, if you so wish, which is always amazing. Um, yeah, so you can see here right now, we've got the Zoopedia going. It's where you go for all of your facts for your animals and know what you need to make them happy in advance, basically. Um, you can see here from the Zoopedia, you've got lots of shortcuts to get around the main game mm. uh, modes, which is jumping into the animal market here, where you can find new animals to add to your zoo. Um, right now, you can see we're selecting them from our storage that we've got and sending them to the zoo. Um, so yeah, when you do that and you set up a bunch of jobs, which your staff, if you've set them all up right, will then go and bring them in. Mm -hmm. So um, I think here we've got, uh, we've sped up the controls here. You can see at the bottom menu there is like a, the X button gets you to that quick menu for a bunch of nice shortcuts for that. Mm -hmm. uh, so we've yeah, sped up time so that we get the <laughs> animals delivered quickly. There then yeah, have a bunch of pandas in here. Time and pandas, ready to go. truly iconic. And iconic. when you click on them as well, you can see welfare is a really big part of the mm. game. Uh, it's important that your animals are looked after and well provided with food and also their habitat is really important. So here you can see we've opened that menu. There's a bunch of different parameters that contribute to whether or not an animal is happy in that habitat. And it's really in your best interest to try and you know, make them as happy as possible because they're cute. Why wouldn't you want to? <laughs> yeah. so you can see yeah, here as well that um, what, uh, another shortcut we've added here is that you can pin their terrain requirements that they've got uh, to the console while you then are in the terrain editor. And then, yeah, you can fly around your habitat and just make sure they're happy with the terrain that they've got. So this is like putting more grass down, putting more soil down, whatever they want. Like, obviously, like alpine animals and that kind of thing will want mm -hmm. snow and yeah. 
you want to be able to set them up for that kind of thing. It's also immensely satisfying to watch the sliders go up and down. It really <laughs> is, to make it go when into like, green. When it goes into green, you're like, yes, my, thrive, mm. my children, thrive. thrive. <laughs> Please, especially you, pandas. Yeah. Exactly. So, but here we have um, plants. Yeah, we've got yeah the plant screen here. It's just like, what, what are they happy with? You can see there's some uh, plants that have made their way into this habitat that they're not happy with. And we've got lots of shortcuts in this menu to just quickly remove them if they're not going to be good for your animals. Uh, they can handle a little bit of things that they don't like, but you know, it's like you always want to aim for the yeah. optimal every time, right? You want happy animals. Yeah. Yeah. And to be that way, they have to be as close to their natural environment as possible. Yeah. So that's why you can use a bunch of the filters to be able to get as close as possible to the biome or the continent that your animal is from and get all those plants in that they're used to seeing and they'll enjoy having in their habitat. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that makes a lot of sense. Because this is actually uh, product manager Tom, who was on the live stream last month. This is actually his gameplay. So if anyone likes to think, do you guys get to play video games at work? <laughs> we do, but we have to play to be able to make videos like this. It's not yeah. quite. Uh, <laughs> it's not quite. But he, he was diligent in his placing of the mm. plants for us. Yeah, yeah. He went all out to make the perfect little <laughs> yeah. habitat, right? He's, uh, he so. was quite proud of his work. Um, but we can make fun of him for doing something else wrong later on. Yeah. <laughs> So you can see here, um, just placing the plants down, um, there's some shortcuts on the animals info panel that lets you get to um, some filters that you need really quickly. Um, and then, yeah, you can see from his video, he's like using the advanced tools to place things in the way that he wants and, you know, really get a nice feel for a unique thing. It's like the, the wonderful thing about watching pe uh, people play this game is just no one builds a zoo the same way, right? It's like things come out crazy. Some people do it, you know, like, it, you know, he's doing a really good job. I think by the end of this, it comes out looking lovely. He does a great job. Um, Whereas, you know, you see when I build a zoo, <laughs> no, you get a program yeah. a zoo every time. Uh, uh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so. It's very, very regimented. Actually, we have to say that we have an incredible um, existing uh, group of creators on Planet Zoo. Really, yes. really talented that makes them, I mean, yeah, the, the, the mind-blowing stuff. Are, are I think it's arguably one of the best parts of the job yeah. is getting to see, because obviously we, we try to provide a lot of fun stuff for people to yeah. build with and create that dream zoo. And the dream zoos that get created never stop surprising me or yeah. amazing me. I'm just like, how did you do that? That is That must have taken so much time and effort. And I'm so happy that people love it so much that they, they do that. In that yeah. time, My favorite yeah. is when they take something that doesn't look like what it is and then like they flip it or rotate it and put it in a place and then build a thing around it. The rocks it. are just, you know, the, the workman's tools. It's just like yeah. you can make so much out of just rocks. Yeah, and I think <laughs> Surprising that's, every time. Yep, that's what's one of the best things for me about Planet Zoo is if you just want to be able to place stuff that you guys have made or if you want mm -hmm. to import stuff that community members have made uh, from the workshop, you can do that. But if you're really feeling, really feeling creative and up to it, it is limitless in what yeah. you can make. I think blueprints are an excellent way if you're a player who wants to focus a bit more on the management mm. or you want to spend less time building. They're an amazing time to get like quick results that look great yeah. in your park. Yeah. And then if you want to go into the nitty gritty, you can absolutely do that on the console as well. With all the updates that we've done to kind of how it works and how the controls are, it's actually really easy to build, like as you can see, your own little habitat. Uh, Tom's doing a great job. Yeah, you can build uh, from your laid back position as well. It's quite chill actually mm -hmm. when you get around to it. So, but yeah, so, uh, we, we have workshop support, you yes. know, so that's the thing. Um, there will, I don't think it's in this video, but yeah, you can find other players' blueprints and that'll be signing up with uh, the Frontier account. And yeah, you'll be able to upload straight away and play other people's stuff, even their zoos. Yeah. So it'll be lovely actually. Yeah, and there is there's some very impressive stuff. Uh, that I'm sure will be made and uploaded. So yeah, if you're not yeah. feeling creative, mm -hmm. don't worry, you can still have something incredibly beautiful thanks for the hard work. Yeah, we tend to get out class pretty quickly, right? <laughs> Just with almost the instantly. I mean, almost yeah, instantly. like I don't, I don't want to say you guys aren't good, but I've yeah, seen yeah. some stuff. I've We've put seen a couple things. blueprints in this game, and none of them come close to what the community <laughs> have made. So absolutely not. <laughs> but yeah, Tom's doing a very, very good job. But you can see now uh, in the top right-hand corner, we're still not quite there in terms of getting everything that our little guy. Yeah, pandas neat. are pretty fussy animals, and that's the fun thing about Planet Zoo as well. If your animal has rather specific requirements, the game will also encourage you to meet those by, you know, making it match to the, the sliders and making sure that they have everything they need. 
And yeah, it's interesting. I love seeing the differences in animal needs, what mm -hmm. they want you to place and, or yeah. not place. There, there are some animals that are quite difficult to keep you know, track of. They'll require mm -hmm. like a large amount of space. And then mm -hmm. it's just like, oh yeah, how do, you, how do you fit this into your zoo? And you're like, yeah, you just got to find the right corner, yeah, find the right space. Exactly. Uh, someone says Planet Zoo is a really good looking game. It is, and it's actually incredibly impressive that, um, you know, there is, for, for me, you boot it up on console and it still looks absolutely incredible as well. Like I said, we're on playing. If you're joining, this is Xbox Series X gameplay, which is really, really nice. But also, I think here, you know, Tom is doing an awful lot with like foliage and shrubbery, but that's just not all that you can place in here. I don't believe Tom puts down like a climbing frame, for example, but there are a lot of other items as well for the animal enrichment. Yes, I think we'll definitely get to those in a second. It's another very important thing about animal welfare, and a lot of this comes directly from zoos. Like We've yeah. gone and talked to people and said, how do you keep your animals happy and interested and, and nurtured, not just kind of in terms of feeding them, but also keeping them occupied, making sure that they can display their natural behaviors and stuff like that. And enrichment plays such a huge part in that. Yeah. Because obviously, I mean, if if you have these animals, you want them to be able to do what they would want to do in their natural habitat as much as possible. Um, and there's a lot of different ways that you can do that. I'm sure we will see that in a second, so I'm going to wait. I don't want to spoil stuff. <laughs> <laughs> no, we don't want to spoil anything, but yeah, Tom is now putting the last of the plants down, making sure they're plant happy, uh, and then we can maybe put some enrichment in for our pandas as well. Do you want to tell us a little bit about maybe getting this ready for console in the sense of mapping to the controller? Because I think that's a big one for a lot of people, is how you yeah. take a game, mouse and keyboard, and then make it feel intuitive and smooth on a controller. I've played it. You've done an incredible job. <laughs> but you get to you. sell it to the world now. <laughs> yeah, no, totally. So it's like, yeah, porting a, a very much PC-focused game to console. It's like, you know, we, we had some pointers already from um, Planet Coaster console when that came out. Uh, and we've you know, made some changes, made some differences here. Um, so you can see, like, uh, one, one of the key things that I found very helpful throughout the whole thing is the uh, button prompts in the bottom right that mm. just always keep you reminded of what you can do in your current scenes. So it's like, um, Planet Zoo is a game with many tools, yes. right? You've got paths, you've got terrain, you've got barriers, you've got all the scenery, and everything has, you know, like, things that you need to do with them, things that will help you do, you know, the cooler, you know, like, advanced mm. move stuff, like, putting stuff in the exact position that you want. So, yeah, the button prompts are very helpful to just point you in the right direction wherever you go. Um, we've got shortcuts all over the place. We've added a radio menu that is yes. just, you know, very helpful for just very quickly if you, you know, you, it becomes muscle memory, basically, as you start building, where you're just like, boom, uh, you know, hold the Y button, spin the thing around, and then just, um, you're, you're doing your advanced moves that you want. Mm -hmm. And then, yeah, it's just like, it, it, it's a bit hard, you know, mapping so many mm. keys that you have on a keyboard and mouse. But yeah, as you're thinking about it with this, but <laughs> it does just become quite, yeah, quick, quite, you know, like, um, like I said, muscle memory is like mm. the key thing. And um, yeah, um, and as you can see here, Tom's been just whizzing around doing all of this and there's no slowing him down. No. So. He's getting all the enrichment <laughs> in now. And yeah, we're, we're up to the enrichment. Yeah, after, make so. him look happy. <laughs> look at him, he's gone for a swim. But like you said, this is all about, you know, it's not just uh, a game about building. It is about kind of learning about animals, it is about mm -hmm. their welfare, and it's about their happiness. And for that, they've got to be entertained. Yeah, I mean, we, we play games. They want to play with things. They want to sniff boxes and food. It's really important. Mm -hmm. <laughs> now, Tom did say to mention that he forgot that he could build them a, a little climbing frame. So he said, please tell everyone I'm sorry I didn't build them a climbing frame. <laughs> yes, of course you can. And you can build it both piece by piece if you want to use all those advanced mm. controls to place your assets, or you can also use one of our blueprints or mm -hmm. one of the workshop blueprints. Exactly. So many different ways. <laughs> so we're going back into some of the management stuff now. So we've done mm -hmm. a fair bit of building, a little bit of creating, just a, the surface level. Now we're doing the works and stuff. Again, Tom said he panicked. Documenting. A tender Achimata de Nip Elemento oncoming fist. Skype 3. Skype 3. Fetcher Fetch. He's chosen to not be documenting himself, Tom. I know you're watching this. I'm sorry. <laughs> Fetcher, but how? But yeah, the uh, the work zone system you can see there is all part of our like overhaul of some UI screens. I'll let you do the similar things that you can do in Planet Zoo. Oh, the market. And, uh, oh, the market. Yeah, it's like staff management is a key point, making sure they do things efficiently. Um, so I'm going to have a toy to Yeah, you want to build your work zones condensed. Make sure they're what the amount 
claro. Um, é um trecho you know, só, né? É um trecho só, né? Sim, o Plano de Zoom, né? Do Plano de Zoom, mostrar no último que a gente gravou, né? Só que é, no 2, é, foi uma amostra antes do lançamento, do lançamento foi agora em março, né? Então foi bem legal que o motor não vai nem incluir aqui. Ah, no, no 3, precisa de arrumar ali o título. Eu sou muito bad Tá parecendo uma metralhadora de informação aí, cara. Tanta coisa junto. Calma aí, cara. Deixa eu ver aqui um negocinho aqui. Eu vi teu áudio aqui agora, que tu comentou do. Como é que é? Do negócio da tua live de ontem, né, cara? Do título. Ah, deixa eu dar uma olhadinha aqui. É, abaixo de 3. Deixa eu ver aqui. Cadê? Não, do negócio lá do título lá, aqui achei. Parte 3. Achei. Parte 3, ah, isso, parte 3, exatamente. Estou vendo aqui. Do Codangelos. Codangelos, duas vezes. Because there's so much stuff in the game, I find it a really easy way to get ah, exactly what I need. Yeah, compared to just trolling the menu. No, it's interesting. Yeah, really Tom interesting. was just sort of you know, duplicating yeah. stuff and dropping it down. Dois do jogo. Tava gravou a gameplay para mostrar essa coisa. Eu vou fazer live uma vez por mês. Yeah, more stuff to make the guests happy, basically. It's like part of the zoo experience. Mostrar todos os jogos que estão fazendo uma vez por mês. What we can do to conserve them, and this is sort of like how we were for Janet. Uhum. Uh, o segundo foi de fevereiro, o terceiro de março. Agora de abril tem que esperar. 24 de abril. Essas notícias aqui, cara, que eu não vi ainda. Cara, eu abro a Twitch aqui, né? As streamers jogando o jogo de biquíni, cara. O resto, jogando gameplay de biquíni, cara. Bizarro, cara. Foco não é o jogo, não, cara. Quer saber de jogo, não sei o que é. Quer ver a stream de biquíni, cara. Esses caras cara moram longe da praia, né? Se moram perto da praia, vem mulher de biquíni todo dia, cara. Mas como mora longe da praia, que não vê água, nem mulher de biquíni, enche de gente na live aqui. Por que tu não coloca um biquíni, Mark, para fazer live, cara? But just keep in mind, this is, I believe, this is scenario four. Look at that set, man. And this is roughly around 33%, I believe, on the zoo complex. Yeah, it's a beautiful park full of stuff and life. Ah, um dos maiores é youtubers do Brasil. O cara gravava sem camisa, cara. Começou a gravar sem camisa, né? É o Windson, Windson Nunes. Conhece? Just a camera flyby. Yeah, it's more zippy. Yeah, it does. I love it. I don't know if it was for this that it helped, but the guy is crazy. Yeah, exactly. And obviously, we've got tools in there to help people, you know, take beautiful pictures and clips as well. Yeah, we've got all the same things. 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 We've got all the same So, yeah, there you go. That, that is a little look at the gameplay. Yeah, like I really it. appreciate you guys taking us through it. Um, now, we'll have some information about the DLC. Now, obviously, we've released quite a number of DLCs on PC, but we have got the DLCs coming to the console as well. So, let's go through what we've got. So, coming up on the launch day, we will have two of the DLCs. This is the first time we've got two of the DLCs. So, we will have the North America Animal Pack and the Europe Pack available as a bundle. Or, to buy single, you will have to buy two of the DLCs on the launch day, which will be March 2026. Now, if you do get the other one, it contains the season pass. Vai ter mais uma em abril, 24 de abril, toda a quarta, na última quarta do mês. Vai ter mais uma, o quê? Mais uma mulher de biquíni? Não, mais uma, mais uma evento desse aqui, todo o mês nós vamos receber. Ah, é mensal, não é? É mensal, não é? Para mostrar a atualização. Ah, vá no primeiro vídeo deles, na parte 1. Eu pergunto... Espera um pouquinho, espera um pouquinho. Espera rapidinho. Vou esperar um negócio aqui. Vai, pode falar. No vídeo 1, depois de um dos trailers, a moça que está aí na stream, ela fala sobre... 
just fine. Um, and uh, there is so much more, like, you know, there's lots of space here to build into and it's encouraged on this scenario because you've got to do quite a bit. Mm -hmm. so. Yeah, I think the big thing from the community was like, someone was like, can you give us a number? And like, yeah. 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 It's the complex thing to do. It's the complex thing to do. It's like, you know, the trees cost a certain amount, that kind of thing. But like, the animals and animals and animals are very different from the animals that you're using this kind of thing. We have a... Ah, now it's easy to find. It's much like in real life, there's a lot of complexity. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, we're just like that. But you can see, like I said, you know, there's so much space here and you're only at 55%. There's so much you can do. Yeah. So while we can't give you exact numbers, no, because no, it's too no, complex, no, we can no, reassure no. you that there is lots of room mm. for building, even with the zoo compleximeter. In fact, we have the screenshot of, like, of what you see. Capcom so this is what you see in-game. You can go into the menu, you can yeah. tell them yeah. when you check it on there. And like I said, you have some little in-world pop-ups when you're getting close to the limit, and then it'll see what you're saying through it. They're asking because it's already done. Yeah, you will no longer be able to add anything else, and like animals will stop you. No for jogo. example. Ah, but yeah, that was the Europe pack scenario is only 55 and I think we can do that. Olha só que legal aqui There's a lot of detail in there. So mm -hmm. there. PlayStation <laughs> 5 Pro. Ele pode right. ser menor do PS5 padrão, cara. Menor ainda. Nova arquitetura. So Ou seja, esse primeirão que lançará aí realmente so, foi para... Foi um test edition, drive, né? Uh, Planet Zoo Constellation is coming March 26 digitally to PlayStation 5 and Xbox Series S and X. Now, the standard edition, which is available for pre-order, includes the base game, and then you have the option to pick up DLC packs or DLC bundles like the North America Animal Pack and Europe Pack bundle as you wish. We also have the deluxe edition available for pre-order, which is the base game. And it also comes with the Weapons Animal Pack and the Southeast Asia DLC Pack. Now, while you won't be able to buy those two pieces of DLC separately, they're in the deluxe edition, if you buy the standard edition, you can upgrade to the deluxe edition to be able to pick up those packs. And then there's the Ou ultimate edition, which is the base pacotes, game, the Wetlands Animal Pack, the Southeast Asia LCs, Animal Pack, and the Season também. Pass, which just gives you automatic asset, uh, access to the 14 additional DLC preferiria? packs. Also for the DLC, we did deluxe, mention that alongside comprar, the deluxe, standard deluxe and ultimate, we'll be launching Nenhum, two of the DLC packs tipo at the same time, either escolher. in a bundle or by themselves. And that is Não, the North American Animal Pack and the Europe Pack, of course, which will be included in the ultimate edition and available to buy separately or stand alone. É o ultimate, então. Sempre é o ultimate para dar de presente para alguém. Really well. Don't worry, everything is on the Planet Zoo website if you've forgotten anything I've said. We are going to close the competition now. So everybody who has entered, good luck. Uh, Uma pessoa que gostaria de ser minha filha, se fosse comprar, eu comprei ainda para ela, né, cara? Jogo cheio de bichinho e tal. Jogo cheio de bichinho e tal, assim, gosta. Mas tem que construir o teu próprio zoológico. Destruir? Construir. Ah, construir. Tem que destruir o zoológico, cara. Você vai mandar bala nos bichos? E o Design Labs Xbox Controller vai ser lançado muito breve. Vamos ver um pouco do trailer uma vez mais? Aí eu vou dar choro na internet, cara. Não pode matar os bichinhos, cara. Eu lembro que uma vez mataram, acho que foi bicho no GTA, estavam reclamando, cara. Pô, oh, deu tiro no cachorro. Pô, é foda. Cara. Tem gente que parece que não. Não tem o que fazer, que arrumar confusão onde, onde não tem motivo. Cara. Matou cachorro no videogame não pode, cara. Mas o cara falando na matéria que vai ser menor que o PS5 base, mas vai ser menor que o Slim no disco. É muito padrão. É 39 polegadas, né? Não diz, não. Olha, essa informação que você tá me dizendo aí, cara, desde quando lançou, nunca ouvi, ouvi falar desse tamanho de 39 polegadas aí. No Brasil não fala em polegadas, né? É diferente a metragem. É. Os dois são onde? É o MP, é 39 alguma coisa. Tá, ah, mas como é que tu descobriu isso? É que eles falam em meio de lá, no de, de Ah, tá. 
Os canais americanos falam desse tamanho, então. Entendi. No Brasil não menciona um polegado, não é diferente. Olha aqui, diz que ele é menor que o padrão, mas não diz que é menor que o Slim. Mas ele, esse Pro aqui ele não vai ter uma vantagem muito grande não, em termos de CPU. Vai ser a mesma. A vantagem dele é a tecnologia que tem nele lá. De resolução. PSSR. PSR. Né? É. PlayStation Spectrum Super Resolution. Integrará o hardware com uma função proprietária. O Nuzu já está disponível para vocês comprarem já e também já está lançado. Já está lançado. lançado no dia 26 de março. Wow, wow, wow. Thank you so much to the wonderful Dead Up team and for Holly for talking us through a little a bit of gameplay of Planet Zoo coming to console. Engraçado que esse console nem foi anunciado ainda, né? Todo mundo já sabe quase tudo a cara dele. Só não viu a cara dele ainda como é que é. Show. So I'm really sorry commanders. I'm joking, I'm joking, I'm joking. We Hoje em dia não tem como esconder mais nada, né? Vaza tudo. We have with us today right now Oh, desenvolvedores não veem sentido no PS5 Pro. É muito estranho estar nesta cama e não nesta cama, sim. É uma track interessante. É muito estranho. É muito estranho, chat. É uma dinâmica muito estranha. Então, parece um pouco como que nós tivemos uma reunião e estamos de volta em uma sala apenas tentando negociar com os filhos. Mas está tudo bem, ok. Quando nós chegamos a um acordo. Sim. Então, Zac, vamos começar a conversar com você. Você tem muito para falar sobre isso. Não se preocupe, chat. Nós vamos ganhar no final porque nós temos muito para falar. Então, não pense que o show vai acabar. Eu estou apenas falando. Segunda-feira, dia 1º, começamos a conversar com o Frontier. Eu não estou falando com o Frontier. Se você está ouvindo cada mês, é o último Wednesday, mantenha isso na sua cabeça. Há sempre uma notícia sobre Frontier Games. Esta semana nós falamos sobre o Chaos Gate, o Demon Hunter, o Xbox One, 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 o porque a aparência das personagens é jovem, entendeu? E o cara, tipo assim, explorou muito a parte sensual do corpo delas, né? Então, qual foi a pergunta do cara? Qual que é a idade das novinhas? Porque tem cara de novinha, tá ligado? <risos> Só que o desenvolvedor, cara, foi mal ligeiro. Fomos perto. Ele falou que é, elas são orientais, as mulheres orientais, às vezes tem, é, tem, são bem mais maduras e aparentam ser jovens. A japonesa aí, o Matsudal, a cantora, ela tem 50 anos. É, é. Não, mas o cara... Mas o cara é jovem, não. Tem cara de jovem, não. De 30, mais ou menos, por aí, né? Você tem um fácil, você tem um fácil. Ou até mesmo. Aham. Aí o, o cara do estúdio foi ligeiro, né? Ele não vai falar que ele é de menor de idade, não. Ele tem 16 anos, a personagem. Não pode, mas ele vai colocar uma personagem novinha explorando o corpo daquele jeito. Entendeu? Aí ele falou, não, ela é mais madura, mas não aparenta a idade, não sei o que e tal. Aí o cara da revista perguntou, mas no jogo aí tu vai mostrar a idade dela em algum momento? Aí ele falou, num próximo jogo sim. Por enquanto, aproveitem a experiência que a gente está lançando agora aí para vocês. E não tem idade não, cara, no jogo, cara. Não tem idade não, pô. O cara colocou duas novas. Vinha lá. Caraca, quero ver amanhã, cara. E antes disso, eu era Hoover, Look, okay. Um, there's a lot of stuff going on uh, with Elite Dangerous, Dangerous. and thank, thank you so much for. I know you're on holiday mm. the last week. Yeah, yeah, you have a break. <laughs> uh, but it was all <laughs> thanks to that we had all that great news <laughs> um, for <laughs> Elite Dangerous. Um, <laughs> but I guess we should start talking about what's actually happening with Elite right now with Update 18. So, what is Update 18? Give us a synopsis. Sure. So, Olha só que os desenvolvedores estão falando do 
da atualização do console da Sony, Marquinhos. Os devs, hein? Ó, é, os desenvolvedores realmente não parecem sentir que precisam dele. Pelo menos os que eu falei. Muitos sentem que não estão realmente aproveitando ao máximo o PlayStation 5 em primeiro lugar. Ó, os próprios desenvolvedores estão dizendo isso. Ó. Nem eles sentem que estão aproveitando ao máximo desse console. Ainda. Ó, algumas empresas dizem dizendo que isso não vai expandir o mercado, não vai fazer diferença. Essa geração nem parece ter começado. Olha, cara. quanto mais sentir a necessidade de uma atualização no meio da geração. Que tal apenas conseguirmos algum software original e de próxima geração funcionando? Tipo, se manter no base, ó. entendeu? Isso aqui é palavra de desenvolvedores, ó. É o mesmo pensamento, é o mesmo pensamento dos gamers. Zack, é apenas sobre o Titan? Não, vale lembrar que o Pro ainda não foi anunciado pela Sony. Pode acontecer no segundo semestre. Lançamento para o final do ano. Separar essas duas matérias aqui. Isso aqui é seu plano. Dia, hoje é dia 28, são dia 26. O pessoal não publicou isso aqui e comentou, cara. Comeram bola na matéria aqui. Deixa dar uma olhadinha, cara. O Groselha é uma coisa que fala coisa bonita no olho mais, deixa eu ver. É bonito no sentido gráfico. Deixa eu ver aqui. Ah, mas que é uma imagem só. É uma arte conceitual. São fotos e imagens. É, tipo assim, dá pra ver que é um negócio bem no início aqui que eles estão mostrando, né? Porque não tem nenhuma imagem. Eu diria que sim, vamos continuar focando nessa parte. É, é espacial. Tem uma nave aqui no canto de vermelho. É espacial. Parece que são artes conceituais do jogo deles aqui. Sim, eu posso tomar alguma responsabilidade por isso, porque quando eu falo sobre, obviamente, podemos engajar com os Titans, eu acho que alguns de vocês podem dizer, ok, vamos esperar então. Vamos esperar até que tenhamos o grande gun e o grande gun. Eles estão trabalhando nesses três jogos aí, né? Mais o Fórmula 1 também que vai lançar. E se os recursos são cortados, os Titans vão ser muito mais fácil de engajar. However, I would stress that this is kind of down the hard way, as always the case, but always makes it more impressed with you. Um, stay with Tyrannus, you'll get in the work done. Focus, 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 because it's really, really important that you get through. And let's, let's get one back for humanity. Right? We've taken a bit of a licking for the last year and a bit. Um, we're talking about progress. Sure, one of the questions we ask a lot, um, almost all the time, is how much of the galaxy have we explored? Yes, we do. That galaxy. Um, now, we have spared no expense with this chat. None. Producer Adam literally we locked him in a galaxy for about 17 weeks and hit with sticks. We didn't. We hit with bats. Uh, but but we, have, we have a graphic, uh, an animation actually to show you how much... A galaxy, uh, a galaxy uh, different. So are you ready? Uh, Adam, could you uh, roll us a galaxy. Yeah, a drum roll Here we go. Oh. Big numbers. Big numbers. Oh. <laughs> Oh. Oh, right. Explorar well, a galáxia não existe, não é de hoje, né? Tem que ver o que, uh, que eles vão fazer aí. Vai, ter, vai ser o quê? Um jogo com uma That's história interessante? Well, vai ter yeah. alguma, alguma inovação? Yes. Sabe isso, né? Não sei se ele está comentando isso aí. Se ele tiver, tem que passar esse detalhe, né? Que é o mais importante. Do que, que se trata? Como é que é a história? Como é que vai funcionar? Tem coisa nova? Mecânica e tal. Isso é sempre o mais importante nos jogos, né? A diversão. Ah, Take Two comprou a Gearbox. Oh, yes! Yes! Isso é super hot off the press. É, comprou. Então, 
We know you're all fighting the Titans. Um, you're all putting in the work to save humanity. Tem novo jogo, tem jogos grátis. Os próximos jogos grátis da Epic Games já estão anunciando. We are going to work on a sort of different paint job every time that someone kills a Titan. So you'll get a different paint job for. I believe there's eight of them right now. I think so. Yeah. Oh, Titans. You're talking about all paint jobs. Titans. I'm talking about. There's eight. Yeah. Um, so yeah, you'll get a different paint job for each of those, and we're also working on a super cool sort of unique decal, um, which are kind of like a rank sort of system, would you say? Where yeah, it's, it's really bespoke things that will be built. If you are so, to be clear, if, if you engage with the Titan and, and are part of the process of destroying one of them, liderou uh, a tabela de receita do PC do Plicinho. Obviously, we will look to expand that decal. How many times you've been involved in? É, ele é um jogo meio futurista, né? Envolve coisas espaciais ali um pouquinho, acho. Ele é em planetas, né? Com coisas que são oito Titan kills on your on your ship, which is actually really really fun. É misterioso também no jogo, né? There might be some other stuff that's that's there. Eu não joguei, não conheço, mas sei que ele tem uma vibe assim. Você tem planetas diferentes, matando criaturas. É misterioso, não sabe se vai encontrar, né? So we talked about the narrative, and I will. Seguindo por esse princípio, aí todo o jogo é misterioso, então, cara. Mas esse tipo de coisa. Eu vi no chat todo o tempo. Onde está o Python? Onde está o Python? Basicamente, você ir matando o bicho que você encontra pela frente. Bom, eu vou mostrar. Oh, tudo bem. Desculpe, nós temos um vídeo. Sim, nós temos um vídeo. Isso é um vídeo de trabalho em progresso, chat. Obrigado ao Chris Gregory e ao time de arte por proporcionar isso. Não tem o seu tipo de final de texturas e tudo mais, mas, sim, o Python Mark II existe no jogo. Aqui ele está. Já vendeu 8 milhões no Divers. Tendo bem, viu? Tendo bem, viu? Receita alta. Isso é um trabalho em progresso. Não tem os últimos bits e bobs. Isso é uma versão muito clean do chip. Mas quando eu vi o conceito, eu estava enamorado deles. Eu já vi esse modelo. Há um meme, acho que eu talvez começou. Com o meme, 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 com o um, it's got some very, very, very strong uh, like SR2 Blackbird vibes yeah, to it. Yeah. I love the way that the, yeah, the shape of the cockpit is very much ah, the same. Ima the, 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 the Chris and the guys are Xbox very, very clever, X very, very, digital very um, um, smart people. But chat, I, I, hope, I hope you like what you're seeing because this is a beautiful, beautiful ship. So we'll put this on the Nossa, parece uma caixa de sapatos, tá mais branco que tu, Marcos. Tu vê aqui, não. Não é um trabalho fácil para Adam, ele pode ver. Parece uma caixa de sapato, isso aqui. O que você pode nos dizer sobre o sério mesmo, tem que ver, cara. Parece uma caixa de sapato, cara. Sim, claro. Então, acho que... E, de novo, um abraço para o Luke Betterton e o design team para nos ajudar a gravar essa informação. Então, quando eu digo we, durante essa tipo de conversa, essa é a royal we. Mas... Um, so we didn't really want to sort of jogo. majorly change any of the existing ships within the game um, that have a purpose, that kind of thing. Um, the base Python is Village kind of viewed as a good jack of all trades. Um, and so the Python Mark II was created to actually specialize with a bit more of a focused Imagine intention um, of really being able to compete with some of the best PVP ships Na in the game. Um, so primarily the Mamba and the FDL. The and, and that doesn't mean manager. that we know how you guys work. Um, <laughs> yes, we're sort of balancing também. it around Good PvP. Day. That does not mean that you won't be able to figure out a different use. I'm sure there will be a we were exploration. We were talking about Xbox, uh, yeah, one, of, one of the running jokes between all of us that work on Elite um, is we have a plan for something and then we give it to the community and you do something so, um, It has got a purpose, yeah. sure. And I think some of the more the super ones we've reached out to the, the bits will notice that these hard points are, are, are different mm. on this ship. It's not just a cosmetic overhaul, as we've yeah. mentioned in the past. Mm. They do Xbox, have uh, functional differences. Um, <laughs> you mentioned PvP focus. Is there anything coming up that players players can, okay. might be using PvP more hate the Xbox. for? Yeah, good question. So I, I can't go into that, too much or? detail quite yet, but we are going to give people more to engage with PvP in PowerPlay 2.0. Um, and hopefully the pipe of Mark II will, will fit quite nicely with that. Yeah. Um, just on this, and this is mainly this for is me, um, I got a lot of flack because, I, I mean, I'm, I'm, I'm notorious for giving away secrets, oh, chat, as you all know, which is probably why they put Zach in charge oh, now. Oh, um, the time of duration of the campaign of GTA um, 6 um, um, One of the things I mentioned was obviously the update of uh, 18 and 19 and also the Powerplay 2.0 and the other feature. And I said this year, and then somebody else will come in the world, and then somebody else will come in the world, and then somebody else will come in the world, and then somebody else will come in the world, and then somebody else will come in the world. E mais Zach, alguns detalhes, né, que vai ter fenômenos, é, na, é, como é que é? Fenômenos da natureza rolando no jogo, né, que a gente já sabia que ia ter. Furacões e tal. E tornados, né. Tempestades. 
Tá no site de saúde, site de Vai ter isso daí tudo no jogo, cara. E os NPCs, eles vão se comportar de acordo com esse ambiente. Se tiver dia com muita chuva, eles vão estar com um pouco mais de frio, guarda-chuva e tal. Se tiver calor, óculos de sol, bermuda. E aqui o cara está dizendo que a campanha deve girar em torno de 40 horas. Campanha aqui. Só? Porra, tu quer uma campanha de quanto, cara? Isso daqui é os desenvolvedores dizendo assim, ó, precisamos testar o jogo para ver se tem bugs. Vamos demorar em torno de 40 horas para fazer isso na campanha do, da Lúcia e do outro lá, entendeu? Ou seja, os caras que conhecem o jogo vão demorar cerca de 40 horas para fazer isso. Entendeu? Então você imagina uma pessoa que não conhece. Entendeu? Se demorou um pouco mais, né, cara? Então a campanha vai ter em torno de 40 horas. Não sei, cara. Quem sabe? Sei que a campanha tem isso. Só vou aqui também isso aqui. Tudo bem, então nós... Talked about some of its abilities. Hmm. Is there any abilities we can't talk about? They might have or might allude to, or there is one other thing. Um, there's something that will make sense in the coming weeks and months, so I won't spoil it for people. It's almost like carrying the narrative. Yeah, it's not trying to see carrying the narrative. Yeah, yeah, and as we keep saying, right, some of these things need to wait. We need to wait and see how the narrative plays out. Yes, the Python Mark II will have. Só eles estão fazendo, mostrando as imagens e tal. Evento mesmo, só de fazer a Playstation assim mesmo, mostrar tudo que ela tem. Não é só, assim que eu não estou fazendo aqui. Não, é legal, é legal um eventozinho assim. Porque assim, a indústria está tão parada, tá ligado? Seria legal que se não tivesse um eventozinho assim, os caras chegassem, começassem a conversar, mostrar uma imagem. Ah, estamos fazendo um jogo assim e tal, jogo. Essa imagem aqui, mostra umas imagens bem iniciais, assim. Vai comentando um pouco, só para hypar um pouco mais, sabe, a indústria, a comunidade. Estão tão parado, velho. Ah, então, conversando. Né? Tivemos ideia, estamos fazendo isso devagarzinho, sem falar muito, tá ligado? Isso é legal, cara, um negocinho assim. Um evento de cada jogo. Por mês, um dia eu jogo por mês, só para poder falar dele, só para falar. Um jogo assim, assim, assim. Mas sem dar detalhes. Nós falamos sobre as habilidades, nós falamos sobre como eles vêm com a habilidade. Where else are we? What else can we talk about here? So when I guess the question is, yeah, we're keeping on this. Yeah, when are we going to get it? Ó, eu tô vendo aqui uma matéria aqui do Stellar Blade Mark II, mais um aqui. Aqui, ó. Ó, tem comentários aqui numa matéria de 12 youtubers, né? O Edu, Bilu e o Max Robozinho. O Max pelo robô. Então, não, só vou, dizer, só vou colocar o título aqui que eles colocaram, né? Eles colocaram um vídeo falando sobre isso que eu tô vendo. Acho que foi a demo que eles tiveram acesso já, antecipado. Já tiveram acesso a demo já foi... Ah, mas... E eles estão colocando o título assim, ó. O Max, o robôzinho, colocou. O jogo me surpreendeu muito. E o Bilu, o Bilu que não joga nada, colocou que está muito promissor. Está muito promissor. Colocou muito em caixa alta, assim, ó. Entendeu? Ambos gostaram, né, cara? E o Bilu acho que zerou, né, cara? Duas horas de demo, se ele não zerar, é uma vergonha. A pessoa jogou 20 minutos só. O Edu é foda, cara. Não zera os jogos e mete a lenha, cara. Desce a lenha. E depois zera. É foda, né, cara? Recebe o jogo duas semanas antes, não tem capacidade de zerar. Ah, tem um filho, não sei o que, cara. Eu trabalho também, arruma tempo. Recebeu o jogo antecipado da empresa. Muita gente tem filho, tem que trabalhar do mesmo jeito, cara. Tem que dar um jeito. Tem essa. Eu imagino Imagino que seja isso, né? Coisas familiares que não deu tempo dele fazer. Mas tem que se virar, né? Trabalho, pô. Aí vai lá e detona o jogo todo, cara. Jogando só quantos, quanto que ele jogou? Acho que foi 5 horas de um jogo que tem 40 horas. Desceu a lenha. E depois eu matei a lenha e zerou. Nem sei se zerou. De repente dropou isso aí também. Ele zerou? Tu viu se ele zerou? Não, não, não. Muita carry on, carry on, my yes. wayward sons. Ele foi uh, virado só na missão principal, acho. Vou dar uma olhadinha depois na, 
this all right, Zach, doing. it's always a pleasure to, to see you, to yes. spend some time with you. Thanks for having me. Um, but we're going to welcome you back to say goodbye, final. I think, um, <laughs> the wonderful, <laughs> wonderful Holly. So no, they, Holly is, is going to join us back from, she's way over there in the green room. It's not green room chat, it's just, it's just <laughs> our studio. Room. It is it is three wooden stools in a row. <laughs> yes. It's yes. really like, so. it's we like you're on a naughty stool and you're waiting to be summoned. It does feel like that. Thank you, everyone, for joining us for another fun and... You're back. I'm back. You're yeah. back. I'm back. We tried to lose him. We couldn't. <laughs> no, no, no. <laughs> and then he was like, no, no. And then he kicked the door down and then just brought in... He's mm. mine now. Yeah. Okay. 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 All right. Yeah. Um, all right, so we've had a wonderful show today. We've got a lot of stuff to do with all of our Warhammer fans premium. since news on Chaos Scout and Console. We talked about the updates Plus that are coming. All Realms are brewing, uh, both the paid, paid update with two uh, heroes and the free update for all uh, players. Da PlayStation Polly, you sat down with a wonderful team. Uh, uh, talk to you soon. We had a look at some gameplay on Xbox Series X ahead of the game's launch on PlayStation 5 and Xbox Series S and X on March 26th. Answer some questions around the Zoom complexity meter. And I ran everybody through all the different editions as well. Yeah, well, well done. Done. Oh, there's no way I would have got through that. Uh, and then we sat down and welcomed back. Not even really. Left. Didn't come over down on Play Quatro. Um, right. Zach has gone through and sat down. Well, I'm going to be on the Play Quatro. For the amazing team working on that game. Ah, uh, we talked about the Titans now. Keep going on Tyrannus. We talked about the well abashed. The we Python did. Mark II, still a little bit of work in progress, but you can see in game now uh, she's, she's beautiful. Um, and we talked about um, some of the stuff that's coming later on this Video year. progress bar about, about new, button. Oh, the, 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 the new edition. edition of Elite Dangerous available right now on Steam. Oh, so, it's been great. Like and we gave away loads of swag. And we did. We did actually. Yeah, we've got plenty more of that. We've got plenty more of swag upstairs for future uh, future episodes. In fact, we've got some new Planet Zoo content that we're time. making that we should be able to give away next time as well. There you go, so stay tuned. Um, speaking of next time, we'll be back the last Wednesday of every month, as we always say, which is March the 24th. We said no, 20, 5, 6, 7. Sorry, I'm, I, I, producer Adam just did this and I was like, I have to count. I, I, I had to actually count. Uh, 27th, we are always the last Wednesday of every month, apart from December, because that would be Christmas Day. Yeah, and we'll be in Turkey. Uh, always at 6 p.m. Yes. UK time, no matter whether that's BST or GMT. There we go. All there. right, so that's it from us now. Last, last <laughs> month. I had a very awkward goodbye, but I'm going to embrace it. So I'll see you all on the next one. Mwah! Oh, I don't know. Bom, galera, então essa foi a nossa evento de hoje. Deixa o like, comentário, compartilhar o vídeo, ajuda o nosso canal. Eu elementei, vamos ficar por aqui uma fofoquinha morta, né? Para vocês. E nos vemos próximos vídeos. Valeu, falou e eu fui. Ui, pra onde? Initiate Proje OBS 28.1 Folder Onde, View. Onde, meu filho? Assisti gameplay. Interromper Trevor.